Hey Jonathan, so uh, I'm gonna tell you with this video how to measure a uh, thickness using a micrometer. First thing we have uh, a micrometer here. This is a one inch to two inch uh, micrometer. Uh, what that means is we can measure from one inch items that are greater than one inch, but no bigger than two inches. Okay, and the way we measure it is we put it in between this uh, face and that over here. So. Um, say you want to measure something like this we will have to collapse this to fit this right in between both of these pins or legs uh, there's different kind of micrometers this one happens to have a lock uh, over here some have a little thing that you just uh, like a toggle switch or a toggle uh, little thing here you just move back and forth and what this does is kind of uh, locks this uh, turn in, uh, a barrel for moving just in case let's say you grabbed a you measured something let's say you uh, just for all, all purposes let's say we uh, let's say we measured uh, this here right, so obviously we know we gotta meet we gotta put our item in between our legs here say we did that okay now after we did that let's say okay so there it is boom let's say that's our reading with this thing here you can turn it and what you do is you lock it so you could you could get your micrometer out out of your piece and look at it and this won't rotate you're you're locking it so this is a lock for this here okay very important. Now the other thing you would know is this end here. Right? You could turn it from here, but you could also turn it from here. Now the difference between turning it from here or here is on items, okay, that would flex and all that due to the say plastic or something, or even any type of metal when you're measuring, right? You don't want to screw on this so hard that you can push your material inwards. So what you would do is you get it close enough and then you rotate it with this, with this end. Once you hear that click, okay, you see how this stops rotating? Well, that's, that's how safe, or, or that's a safe way to turn it with, you know, and get a better accurate reading. So you wanna rotate with that, not really with this, okay? Because this, I mean, you'll, it, you won't get that click if you if you use this now the way we do this is uh, or the way this is way to uh, or the way this is structured is we got we can measure it from one inch from zero to one inch okay so you can only measure it within one inch that's why you have a zero to one inch micrometers you have a one to a two inch micrometer, you have a two to a three inch micrometer. So depending on what you're getting, okay, uh, this happens to be a one to two inches. And what that means is this has the ability to measure materials that are greater than one inch, but gotta be smaller than two inches. So if I was trying to measure, uh, let's say this highlighter from end to end, well, I know there's about five inches or four and a half or something, maybe like five inches. Well, we can only go from one to two inches. Well, this is greater than one, so it kind of, it's okay, but it's it's no less than two, I mean, it's four. So I have to get a bigger uh, micrometer for that. Now, having said that, uh, let's just see how this does it. The way it does it is it, it gets a whole inch Okay, so say this is zero, and this is a one inch. And it splits it into five. Uh, I guess that's not too accurate. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Well, well anyways, it had one, two, three. is it better and this happens to be ton right and then you have one two three four two three four five and this
this happens to be your five line. So it gets your whole inch and it splits it into 10 divisions. Okay, and you could see it here. See how it has a horizontal line it's split between zero and 10? Well, that's the same 10 here, okay? Now remember, from here to here, it's one inch, okay? From here to here, it's one inch. Now, the way this does it is, and then you have four subdivisions. Per, uh, between each division, right? So between the zero and the one, you have four divisions. Between the one and the two, right? Which say this was one, this was two, three, four, and so forth, you'll have right four divisions. So you have one, two, three, four. Or I'm sorry, one, two, three, four. And each tiny bit so each large division, it's a hundred a hundred of a thousands, a hundred thousands of an inch. Each small division, okay, it's 0 0.025. If you were to divide a hundred by 25, well, you get four, right? That's why we have four divisions. So that's, we already know, so we just covered this. Now, this vertical axis, this here, what it does is it has, it starts at zero, and as you start going out, you see how it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way to 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and back to zero. Okay? So you get 25 divisions on here. And each division, it's a thousands. So this here, it's a thousands of an inch. So if you rotate this, if you add, if you rotate it, one, two, three, four, like 25 divisions, right? You've rotated it and 25 thousands. And if you rotated it for 24, 25 thousands, well, see as I screw it in, it goes in and as I do it, as I, as I uh, unturn it or turn it counterclockwise, it comes out. Well, if you do a whole revolution, right? which is 25 thousands because it's 25 divisions, you'll see that, for example here, uh, we have it at nine, zero, right? If we rotate this one complete revolution, you'll hit the first line because it's 25. And we sat here, it was 25. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, blah, 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 blah. And 24 and boom. When you hit 25, right, and 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 the zero lines up with that horizontal line, you get right on top of that first line. Now, if you do it, if you do a second one, a second revolution, well, 25 plus 25 equals 50. So, I would think that if I do a second revolution, if this was 25, this would be. 50, 25 plus 25 is 50, so I'll land on the second one. So let's see. Let's do another complete. Boom. And that happens to be the bigger line because it's right half, or another 25 thousands. Right? Now if I do another 25, now I'm at 75 thousands. If I do another 25, or complete revolution, I've just completed the four lines, so I've gone 100 thousandths, what we talked about here. So you just went from one one of these to the next one over, because you've, you've gone through the four divisions, okay? So let's measure here, some, uh, let's see. Uh, let's try to measure this. So we have this one block, seems seems like it's gonna work for all purposes. So what I would do is, I would bring it close with this, right? and then I'll turn it from here. Okay, so 
that's probably going to be my reading there. Now what I would do is, right after that, I will lock this. Okay, to prevent this from moving. So, we know we're over an inch, right? Because whatever it is that I put on this one micrometer, it's always going to be one inch. Because it's it can't be less than one inch, it's got to be greater than one inch, but no bigger than two. So we know the reading on this is going to be one inch point. Well, we set each division on the horizontal line was a hundred thousandths. So I see up, I see a zero, a one, and a two, but I don't see a three there. So that means that the two, okay, it's not three hundred thousands yet. So I'll put a two here. Now, each hundred thousands, it's divided into thousands, right, or into into twenty five divisions. Now we see that we have one two lines and then almost a third one now how do i know i'm not on the third one because the zero has is not yet on the horizontal line the 24 is so i know i've passed through my 25 line my 50 line so i'll say okay i've passed through my 50 line and then the one line that kind of uh, lines up with my horizontal line is the 23. Right, so I'll say 50 plus, seven, plus 23, 73. Right? So I'm not there yet at the, at, the, at, the, at the 75 line or the third line here. Because if I did, the zero would be lined up with the, zero, with the, with the horizontal line. So I'll say 1.2 seven three inches okay so that's what I'm reading there okay now lock it see if I were to bring it out a little further into the zero line that would be 75 now you're exactly at the third line okay now let's say you weren't there but you were two over what, what I would do is I'll say okay well, I've gone past the 75 because I'm, I see the line and I see the zero. So I'm gone past it. So, so I know that'll be, that will be 1.2 because that's not a three yet. And I know I've passed through, let's see how many? One, two, three. Right, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Three times 25, 75, and then which line lines up to the horizontal? The two. 75 plus two, it's 77. So that would be 1.277. Okay, so that's less than, than 300,000, it's 277,000. Uh, let's see, let's do another one. Uh, Let's say for all purposes, we're doing, uh, let's see, what do I have here we can do? Uh, let's see, uh, what do I have here? Okay, so let's say we're trying to get this here, okay? Uh, obviously I know this is less than one inch this will not work on this why because even if I brought it all the way to zero all the way in okay where my zero line see zero and zero it lined up that's the minimum reading that should be exactly one inch from here to here see my item is less than one inch so I'm not sensitive for this I'll say you you try to do this, well, it's greater than two inches. No, so it probably is bigger than two inches, let's see. Two inches should be exactly when the zero lines up with the zero again. That should be two inches from here to here. Okay. My item, it's bigger than two inches, doesn't fit. So, like I said, this is a one to two inches 
micrometer, it can only measure between one and two inches. And the way it does it is, it gets an inch, it splits it in 10 divisions, okay, along the horizontal line, and each division, it's 100 thousandths. Right now, each division, it's you said we know it's a hundred thousandths split into four, and each line, horizontal, this little each small line would have a value of 25 thousandths. Okay, and that's exactly however many lines we have in this turn knob over here. Now, let's see if we can guess what this rating would be. So, we have uh, that. Okay. Well, based on this, we know obviously it's got to be one inch, right? Now, one point we know we are past the six, not there. At we're not at the seventh yet. We're at the six line, so one point six. Now we got to see. Okay, have we passed the twenty-five line here? Now it doesn't look like it. Okay. We're at the 16 over here. We need to rotate it another, what is it, uh, nine lines. Let's just see it. Okay, and if you had it at zero, you see how the whole, how this vertical line lights up, you can see it now. That'll be the 25, but we're here at 16. So that means that we don't have a number to add. We'll just put the number on here, so 16. Okay, if we had, let's give it exactly one turn. Okay, this other reading, we would say 1.6, but now I've already passed it with the first line, which is 25, so I'll say, okay, 25. And then I'll say, okay, it lines up with a 16, so at the 25, I gotta add 16. That was this, uh, 41, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So I would say 1.641, okay? So this reading now would be 641. If we did another complete revolution, uh, let's see, the 16 mark. Okay, now we would say we're at the, we obviously know it's 1.6 because we're not at the seventh yet along the horizontal line. But we've already gone through one, two lines, okay? So what's each line worth? 25. So if 25 and 25, it's 50. And now we'll say, okay, we haven't gone through the third line, so we gotta add whatever number lines up with the horizontal line, which is a 16. And 50 and 16 happens to be 66. So I would say my reading is 1.6666, okay? Uh, just keep in mind, turn it from here. If you have any questions, any, anything, just give me a call. Let me know. Goodbye.